keep watching if you want to make this. back with another video as you can see I have the webcam today um, we're gonna be doing the highly requested uh, 3d text tutorial so this is gonna be an after effects you're gonna need a plug in it's about two hundred dollars but I will provide a link if I can find it for a video on how to get it for free um, if you're on Mac you might be out of luck but you can also do similar things in blender so don't give up um, I can do Blender videos in the future if you're struggling and you really can't do this, but I'm going to start as if you've never touched After Effects before, so I'm going to go New File, and then you're going to be presented with this screen here. You're going to go New Composition, and you can name it whatever you want. We'll just do 3D text for now. Um, size of the composition doesn't matter. Um, obviously, just don't make it super tiny. I usually just use 1920 by 1920, so it's nice and... HD but not too big for my computer to process so you're gonna be here nothing in any of the scenes but so the first thing you want to do is right click over here on the left side and you're going to go new solid same exact thing you can just call this um, 3d whatever you want and then you're gonna go up to um, video copilot are you gonna go up to effect video copilot element and so this is if you do the um, tutorial to get Element 3D, the plugin. This won't be normally be there in After Effects. So from here, what you're going to want to do is we're going to start with the text. So you're going to go back down to the bottom left, go New Text. So now you're going to type in whatever you'd like. I'm going to just do Gavi again. Avi, Gavi. I don't even know how you say it, but okay. So now you got your text here, and I'm just gonna make it smaller to fit the screen there, the little black screen. And then you can go up to a line, press oh, I have make sure you don't have caps lock on. Caps lock uh, hides anything you have for some reason. Um, and then you click on this one, align horizontally and then align vertically. Gets it nice in the center. And so what you're gonna want to do from here, you can use just this, but for the special like wave effect I have on it, you're gonna need to do this part first. Okay, so with your text layer selected, you're going to go up to Layer, Auto Trace. Um, I usually don't touch any of these settings. It does a pretty good job by itself. Um, just hit OK. And what you're going to want to do, just hide both the text and Auto Trace layer so you're back to the black screen. And now click on your 3D layer. And then you're going to go here to your Effects Control Panel. And you're going to go to Custom Layers, Custom Text and Maps. And then under path layer one, you're gonna do Gavi or whatever your text is. Not the auto traced one, but just the text. And so then from here, you can go to scene setup. And this looks like a lot. Um, <laughs> I get it, I was confused at first. But all you have to do, since you put that text layer in the custom layer panel, you just hit extrude. And would you look at that? So to navigate, just press and click. You can rotate, scroll with your mouse. Uh, to go in and out and then if you press on the middle you can just kind of like move it side to side press on the middle button um, it's really not that difficult you'll get the hang of it real quick just make sure you're in perspective mode because if you go top we will show the top if you go bottom bottom if you go front we will show you the front and if you click and hold you can't move um, around so just make sure you're in perspective so you can move around so first things first, we're going to do is you're going to want to go down here into this panel here. Make sure you have the extrusion model selected, not the bevel. And you're going to go to path resolution and put that to extreme. It just makes it super, super high quality. Um, sometimes, especially when you're auto tracing, it'll give you a lot of bumps um, if you don't use extreme. But so now you're going to click on the bevel. and this is where the fun begins so extrude I'm gonna set to 5 and basically all that is is basically the thickness um, you can make it whatever you want it depends on what you're going for here um, but I'm gonna just do the exact Gavi text that was in my um, 
Gavi design. I apologize if it's not Gavi because I'll look like an idiot. But what you're gonna do is you are gonna now go down into this panel here, the C materials. You're gonna go physical black outline. You can either put it directly on it or you can bring it up here. When there's more stuff on the uh, actual 3D model, you're gonna want to go up here into your group to do it. So it's gonna have this black texture with some nice blue glow and all I'm gonna do first is go down to illumination color and I'm just going to make that red so now it's got a red glow again depending on the color of the team player whatever you're doing um, change that to what fits your design so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this part I'm gonna hide the uh, bevel and I'm gonna press control D so Photoshop is Control J to duplicate. In After Effects, it's Control D. I don't know why. Um, I mean, it makes sense, Control Duplicate, but it's the same software. I feel like it should be kept the same throughout the Adobe Suite, but that's a story for another day. So, what we're gonna do here, open up this one, and we're gonna actually just put Chrome on it for now. You're not gonna notice anything because you uh, are basically, it's basically inside currently. So you're going to expand the edge, I'm going to say 0 0.2, 0 0.2 looks alright, and then extrude, let's see, let's try 1.2, yeah that looks solid, okay, and then I'm just going to move that to the back, just because I think that looks nice, the back doesn't really matter, unless you're doing an animation, the back doesn't matter, so you can cover it, um, just to make sure you're getting the full model there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate that one again and we are going to bring it up quite a bit and then we're going to go back onto the uh, material and we're just going to extrude it a little bit more. Let's see what 2 looks like. 2 is alright. Maybe we'll try 1.75 just so we have a little bit more room. Yeah, like that. Okay. And now what we're going to do <laughs> So we're going to go back to that first one that we put in the back. I'm going to duplicate that again. And we're going to move that forward just for now. And so for this one, this is how we get the outline at the front. You're going to go down here where it says bevel outline. Check enable. So as you can see here now you have this. This is without it. This is with. So now it's an outline. Um, and then we're just going to change the extrude to probably like 0 0.5. 0 0.5, that was good. Yeah, 0.5 is solid. Again, some of these can be tweaked to your preferences. Um, but we are going to just have it uh, a little bit out just so you can see that there's that 3D effect, but it's not too much. And then what all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the middle one and I'm just going to bring it in. Oop. Middle one, I'm just going to bring it into the middle of those two. Like so. So, so from here now I'm sure you're wondering how I got that cool like royalty looking effect on the middle one um, so for that what you're gonna do is you're gonna see materials and then this shows you all of the materials you've used in this current project so you're gonna right click on chrome duplicate it okay and you're gonna click it and now on the right it'll show you all the settings for the um, for the material and so I'm gonna leave a link to download this texture in um, the description but you're gonna want to go to normal bump load texture you're gonna look for it in your files um, I just have it saved under texture um, there'll be two you're gonna want to use the bluish purple one it's more 3d and then you're gonna set the UV repeat to 10 both of them just kinda makes it repeat more so that way the design appears smaller on it and then you're going to go to glossiness and you're going to do the exact same thing choose the blue one blue purple one and then set both uv repeats to 10 and you're going to hit ok all right so now you're just going to find which one is the middle one or whichever one you want to put it on really again personal preference and you're just going to take this and drag it and put it on top so now 
you can see we have that nice elegant design you can play with the UV repeat if you want it bigger if you want it smaller um, again that's all a preference um, these are just kind of what I used for that design um, but that's the great thing about this program it's super customizable to whatever you need or want so this I would say is pretty much done for um, the inside here so what you're gonna do is gonna press OK and so here it appears let me bring this down I had that up for a different project um, so now it's just showing up right in front I'll show you how to move that in a second but we're gonna do a few things first over on the left so you're gonna open up render settings you're gonna go to ambient inclusion enable it and so you can either do again this is preference I like um, SSAO just because ray trace is a little more detailed I guess and you don't want it too dark but you can you can adjust these settings if you'd like but I usually just keep it on so like if you turn it up way up it'll make the shadows darker as you can see like here between the V and the I because it's at 50 but if you turn it down to 2 you can notice how much lighter it is how much lighter it is so we'll put it around I'm gonna say 10 hmm let's go 25 yeah, no, I say 25 because the 50 looked pretty nice. So um, there's a few other things you can do. Um, I will suggest here. So for physical environment, um, you can change the exposure, the gamma, and all that. We're just going to leave it at what it is for now, um, just because you can add lighting after. But then you're going to click on lighting, go to add lighting. I like using dramatic it gives it kind of a gold glow um, but you can play with these look at all of them cinema cinema is really nice um, if you have more of a blue design you have a clean blue it doesn't show up quite too much on this but it is very nice so now that you have that done now is for the part with the that um, that crazy effect I had on it so what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to go here bottom left go to new camera just leave everything on its normal it'll be at 50 uh, millimeters to start so now what you're going to want to do is select your uh, ray traced or your auto trace sorry um, layer and then you're going to go up to layer 3d layer and so basically all this is going to do is allow you to move it rather than just being a 2D object that you can just move left, right, up and down. You can move this along the x-axis as well. So I'm just going to, oh, I'm just going to grab, try to grab the part where there's, yeah, like this. So as you can see here, I keep cl clicking uh, caps, backs. And so you're going to line it up here and then you're going to go to left or right and you are going to make sure that the ray traced is at the front like right inside that bevel because that bevel comes out a little bit from the um, actual text itself so you're just going to move that up a little bit not in front of that but just before it so go back to active camera maybe move it back a little bit more You're just gonna want to make sure it's ahead of everything okay so we might have made it slightly too big in the beginning just adjust it something like this that looks solid so now with the auto trace layer selected you are going to go up to layer or effect video copilot saver I will try to find the video for this as well because this is also a plugin. I'm not. It might be free in general. Um, I remember just looking it up for free and I got it. So I don't know if um, this was something else I just got for free and it cost money. But I will try to find that link for you too if it is um, paid. But so again, just change the color uh, to whatever you want. In this case, I want red. And then you're gonna go to preset where it says select and I like using arc reactor and I forgot to change the color so it's gonna go back change the color 
And so that's where you get that little wave, like lightning type glow. And then you're gonna go to alpha mode, enable masks. So now it puts it inside of your, um, uh, the text as a mask. And then where it says render settings, you're gonna open that, go to composite settings, and then where it says black, go to transparent, just so you can see the background. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna customize core, and you're gonna, instead of saber, you're gonna do layer masks. And so that's where it's, it, it connects um, to your text layer, like here. So, so now that you have it like this, pretty much everything from here is fully customizable to what you like. I'm just going to show you a few things that I do. Um, so I usually do the start size around 50, just makes it a little smaller. Um, you can play around with the glow intensity. Um, I like to keep it up like 75-ish. Uh, the glow spread you can do a lot I'm gonna try let's see point one I don't remember exactly what I used when I was doing it so we'll just play around here um, I believe core size one that looks solid we will do this and yeah so now that you're you've got this you can again there's more settings you can play around with in there um, but for me, uh, this is good enough. This is what I like. And you can, if you noticed up here, you can, um, where is it? And under customized core, like evolution, that'll move the, um, the rays. That's only going to be necessary if you are making an animation like I have with my Golden State Warriors logo, like you guys saw. Um, but since I'm not doing that, you're pretty much done. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go to camera. You're gonna go to this one with a little ball and some arrows. And uh, I keep it on uh, constrained vertically, just so it doesn't move left to right, it only moves up and down. And I just tilt it back. So I click and I drag it up, All right? So again, if you want it down, you can do down. But I like the way up looks. It just looks a little more dramatic, especially for the design. But like I said, if you use constrain horizontally, it'll go left to right rather than um, up and down, but I'm not gonna do that. And then if you use the other one, you can do it anyway. Like, it, it's a free for all. Um, <laughs> it's not suggested, I would say. And so this is how you get your 3D text. Now, I know a lot of people have issues um, rendering things on here so to show you guys how I do it I go to file export add to Adobe media encoder queue so you're gonna want to make sure you have that downloaded um, it's part of the creative cloud it's it takes like two seconds to download um, so that'll load up it's a separate little Adobe program just for rendering um, it makes the process a lot easier it basically sends all of its information over to here from After Effects um, and it'll get it done nice and easy. So we'll just let that load here for a second. Um, this is an old project. It might take a second even when this pops up for it to load. But you'll see it in a second. There it is. Um, so you can see, because I named this one 3D text, the one we're working on. So. We're going to click here where it says H264. I'm not sure what it's going to be for you guys just because this is a video file and that's what I was previously working on. But over here on the left, you're going to click. Now, it normally doesn't take this long for me, but because I am recording, it's probably taking a little longer. You're going to go to Format, click that. You're going to go down to PNG, all right? And then make sure you click PNG Sequence with Alpha. If you don't click with alpha, the black background will show up in your render and you don't want that because then you have to mask it out and a lot of times it'll look messy. If you, This one might not be too messy just because the lines are pretty contrasting, but a lot of times you will have issues. So make sure you do with alpha because that way the black won't be there. Um, so then all I do here 
just name it, output name, just call it Gavi text, put it where you want, click save, and then down here you're going to click use maximum render quality, make sure it's the best, and then what you're going to do on the left here, just bring this all the way down until the number on the right side is 1. So it, it, sometimes it jumps like this. Oh, there we go. Um, you can also at the beginning, I forgot to do this, I'm very lazy. Um, you can literally just make it one second from the start if you know you're making a PNG rather than a video. Um, so it saves you the time of doing that and the stress because sometimes it bounces back and it takes a while. But um, if you've gone through all this and you're about to render, just do that. It's not a big deal. Same exact thing. And you're just going to press OK. And then you're going to go up here to this little green arrow. Just going to press it. Oh, <laughs> started rendering my other thing. So make sure you have your project selected. And then you're going to go up to this little green arrow here and hit start queue. And because it's a one second video and it's just a single frame, it won't take any time at all. So then we're just going to go here. And would you look at that? There is your 3D text with texturing, lighting, um, anything you can imagine. Like I said, you can customize, you can find different textures online to use for um, the different parts of it. You can customize this um, lightning bolt stuff. You can, uh, as you can see, you can really change it up to what you want. You don't even have to use it, you can change color. Um, After Effects is really endless with Element 3D. But like I said, if you can't get After Effects, or if you can't get Element 3D, or even After Effects, Blender is a great alternative. It's free. Um, it's a little more confusing to use. I haven't used it nearly as much, but if you guys really want it and need it, I can do my best to make a video over there too. I don't know how to customize as much, but I can get you some nice 3D with um, some cool textures. So. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking how I do this. Um, I'll be sure to leave the um, links in the description for how to get these for free. Um, hopefully it works. Uh, I've had some people in my Discord saying it doesn't work for them. So hopefully it works for you. I think it's because his After Effects was also pirated. <laughs> so it wasn't like the most updated actual After Effects. It was like an aftermarket type thing. Um, but like I said, yeah, I'll also leave a link so you can download that texture file for the middle part right there. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see for my next video. I don't have one planned, so I would love to hear what you guys want to see uh, for next Saturday at 12. That'll be it for today. See you next Saturday. Peace.